Welcome from Guidor. Greetings from scenic Guidor. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is How to Kick Football Horse, a, a show where we make you play a game called Figure Out What We Were Talking About Before We Started Recording and How We Wound Up on Guidor. You, you might get it. Back on my mouse. We'll give it, give him a couple seconds to guess at home. You all done? All right. Hit that back button. The band planted. <laughs> which we, <laughs> they're, which they're we were talking Guido. about. <laughs> because their members include. Let wait, we'll give we'll give them a few seconds. Enya! Did you guess? It was Enya the whole time. Look at this crazy name, y'all. Yeah. Do, do you think the do you think the first name is just pronounced Enya? Probably. The whole thing. I think it's the whole do you thing. Think that, do you think this is like Pendragon? Oh yeah. I mean it's it's awful close. It's almost all the same letters. And then like this this had to have been like mother father or some shit. Sure. The knee. Bronian. Knee. Bronian. Knee. Bronian. Though I guess it probably... Do you think that the Knights of Knee were Irish? My apologies said... to our Irish viewers. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't... I refuse to apologize to them. I mean, honestly, oh. if we have Irish viewers, I, I would, I'm willing to call this a teachable moment. If you yeah, want to if you, if you <laughs> teach us how to actually say any of these words, by. we'd love to learn. Send us a... Send us a a rude, a rude YouTube comment <laughs> or a, a weird Instagram DM. <laughs> a rude YouTube comment. My favorite kind of YouTube comment. All right. We can stop sharing Enya. All right. Well, that was, that was Enya presented by How to Kick Football Horse. And a uh, little, little uh, How to Kick Football Horse trivia here. Did you guys know that... Uh, Enya did our theme song. I will stand for the Irish Dance while Joe stands in the front with his hand over his heart. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, like OK Go style. Ooh, the gun. I love this show. Hell yeah, dude! You're looking buff as hell. Thanks. It's Florida. Yeah, that makes sense. The the they'll kick sand on your towel on Muscle Beach if you're not lifting. Yes, I lift manatees. Whoa. Put them back. Yeah. yeah just, <laughs> they probably don't like that. Down. Pick them up, put them down. Do you, do you lift them out of harm's way? Or are you like... Yeah. I, I know. Okay, I, I appreciate that. I, mean, I know shoplifting yeah. or lifting okay. is trendy right now, but uh, they need to stay in their habitat. Oh, I, I, I go to their habitat. I, pick I mean, if you, and... if you find a manatee at Walmart, yeah, you should probably shoplift that. You just need like a you need an enterprise class ship like in the one with the whales. That's right. What were we talking about? I feel like we I feel like it was this group not that long ago that we were talking about the Star Trek movies. Oh yeah. I don't know if it, I don't know if it was We've on... gone into some pretty lengthy digressions on the Star Trek movie. <laughs> My I think it's cuz they're good. I think I think uh, most of the movies are better than most of the shows. That's true. Uh, Watch more. I think what was his name? Patrick Dewin, Scotty. That, that sounds right. <laughs> yeah, he he picks up the mouse in 1987 chemical plant in San Francisco, and 
he's developing transparent aluminum and he wants to talk to the computer so he picks up the mouse and he goes, ah, and, and the guy's like, just use the keyboard. He's like, oh, you gotta use your hands. No, that's uh, Back to the Future. Yeah. Well, uh, so, so uh, turns out uh, most of the gang is not feeling a hundred percent this evening. So uh, we're gonna do some uh, some other shit. We're gonna do some quiplash later. We're probably mostly gonna just keep talking about things like Enya and Patrick Duhan. Um, but I got some exciting mail. Some exciting mail that I thought might never arrive because I kickstarted this shit like two and a half years ago. You actually yeah. I think you got it pretty quick, all uh, kickstarters considered. I don't know. I I did some research when this was like getting to year two, and like aside from the ones that are like really straight up scams from the get go. Most of them don't take that long. They had, they did have the misfortune of basically starting the, or I guess the campaign like finished. Where'd my goddamn knife go? There it is. Nope, that's just the knife case. There it is. Uh, they started the can, or they, excuse me, they concluded the campaign basically right as COVID hit. So they were like, we were like ready to put this shit in, into production, and we just stone cold can't. Um, so it's understandable, like the whole world fell apart. I think they're a pretty small company and have not undertaken a project of this size before. So like, I can forgive that too. Um, I'm not like, I'm not saying like, fuck them by any stretch of the imagination. I think Tuesday night games is a, is a company that produces quality content, if nothing else. Um, and mothership's a fucking banging game. Um, so I'm going to cut this thing open and we're going to see what's all in here. Cause it's been two and a half fucking years and I don't even remember what I ordered. <laughs> and we're going to get YouTube views about it. Tell your friends. Autopsy of the I guess before I get to the box, I'll show these things. They're, they're pretty cool. This like little bonus guy, a little patch. To dust you shall return is a pretty badass. Thing. I do like that they gave gave you a literal patch because that's like that's one of the things is that everybody every character you make's got a patch. It's true. Yeah. And we've all died many times. In March. Yeah. And the patch is sacred stuff on them like that. This is the zero to first edition conversion pamphlet. Which in ASCII? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, but it's like nice, nice thick paper. Feels good to the touch. It's not like glossy per se, but it's very like smooth. I don't know how to even describe that. But this is helpful because I've been thinking about if I purchase more pamphlet adventures in the future, what size are they and how am I going to store them? So they have pamphlet like uh, card sleeves basically. And now I have this, and I will be able to procure one of those sheets and see if it fits. Let's open this motherfucking box. <laughs> Pretty tight lid Let's here. Yeah, I think I think that's one of the things that I like the most about Mothership is that it encourages minimalism in a really fun way by just being like, all our adventures take up both sides of one sheet of paper. That's it. Figure it out. You can do it too. All right, we got some we got some little plastic bases. We're all familiar with these. Love to see them. They're pretty thin, but they do have like all a little those. they do have like a little pinch in as opposed to like the Pathfinder ones, which are just like straight up and down with the like they almost have like a like a tooth ridge on them. Got some dice. Two D ten and a yellow D twenty. I thought it was a whole set, but that's okay. You kind of only use D10 and D20s in this. This is my second all yellow D20. Got a pamphlet for the Mothership Companion app. Character creator and dice roller. That's pretty cool. And it's got the art from... Uh, 
It's got the art from fuck. I forget that guy's name. Some someone whose art we've used before on our mothership episodes. Check them out on the playlist on our YouTube. Uh, it's good art. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's so much. <laughs> so small. <laughs> this tiny little DM screen. <laughs> Oh, that's a DM screen. That's great. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Every, what the fuck you hiding with this? <laughs> you got you to gotta go down here. Everybody has can't pick the right up over this. As you enter Don't the dungeon. Don't stand up to go to the bathroom. <laughs> uh, this is really funny. Uh, I knew it was going to be uh, smaller than the one that comes in the deluxe set, but, boy, I did not think it was going to be this small. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> Like it's not bad at all. It's still like perfectly legible. Like I bet you it's gonna be a, just about the same size text as like what's in the books. It's pretty sure. much the same size text as what's in the pamphlets. So like, put it on the Amazon fine. box. It came in. What all we got on here? We got wounds. I definitely want to start using the wounds table more often because I feel like that's a more fun method of doing damage. Um, sort of like how Cloud Empress has like you can you can get up to thirty damage or. You get every time you get ten damage, you get a wound, and when you get three wounds, you you either die or have consequences. And I think that's a much more fun way to do it than being like, I have like eighty five hit points. Uh, armor and cover, death, damage, tactical considerations. That's kind of cool. We don't really play that way though. Uh, panic table, stats and saves, survival, price tiers. Monthly pay, mega damage. That sounds fun. That's rifts. Think, we're gonna think, we're gonna be really nerding out if if we're gonna be playing rifts with its mega damage. Or was that Shadow Run? No, don't don't listen to me. I I wouldn't be surprised if it was both. But I'm thinking about the Shadow Run video games that I've played, and I don't think any of those featured mega damage. And I've never played rifts. Yeah. I think this is mainly oh, for. Oh, I think that's mainly for uh, vehicles, because uh, like one of the effects of that is hull breach or fire on deck. Yeah, I think that's that's for. Dave Mustaine. Hey, listen. Sometimes my hull gets broached. Oh. I mean, if you refer to your rocking, your, <laughs> if you refer to your outer flesh as your hull, that's between you and. Oh, H U L L. Okay. Uh, uh, ship range, fuel cost, space travel cost, Whoops. ports, <laughs> ship class, and distress signals. One of the uh, one of the Kickstarter rewards was uh, a thing. I think it's just called distress signals, um, but it's like uh, audio, like basically like audio plot hooks. Um, I, I don't know if they're for existing yeah, adventures or if they're Brian gonna come Eno with album. their own new thing. I'm unfam- What, uh, was Brian Eno in Pavement? No. No, way earlier. He joined Roxy Music like halfway through their career. After was, he not, was he not in a more prominent band? So he like yeah. is more of a collaborator, I guess. Oh, I was like, just referring to ambient music the, that he makes. Having what's the guy from like What's the guy from Pavement's name? I think I'm just thinking Even of the wrong guy. Yeah, that's who I am thinking of. I don't know what the fuck this is. This is a big old map. Ooh. Big map, little privacy screen. Right. <laughs> Gravity wells. So I guess this is this is more space combat stuff. We've We've just stone cold never done space combat in Mothership at all. You don't need to if you don't want to, but if you want to, it's there. I mean, I'm just I'm just surprised that there's this much uh, robust material. Oh, this must be a. It's like a yeah. I I feel like I want to just run a whole uh, vehicle campaign now. Have you guys? Yeah, I mean, you like got uh, you re- you've resources, or at least tangible resources for it, right? Yeah. Before, like it was probably there. It's just not necessarily like in your purview. Right. Now it's like, hey, right. now I'm aware. Right in front of you, and, and it's dope because they give you guys. a lot of guidelines, and we can make with what you will. Because we play, a, I'm sure, a different version of Mothership than other people play. You know? Yeah, for sure. 
Got some cool cool punch out minis. Little little you thin know. guys. About the same uh excuse me, about the same thickness as the uh Pathfinder ones. Pretty cool. Os Rotten records from nineteen ninety two. It would be so <laughs> funny to just to just use like this guy as the as like an album cover. That would yeah. rule. Put the name right up here. Hell yeah. These are cool as fuck. Got some more little dudes in here. Both sides. Oh, oh shit. Does this one do that too? Uh, on the back, it's actually a drawing of the back of them. Oh, that's cool. Actually double-sided. Look at these guys. And then look at these yeah, guys' like, butts. Looks like, <laughs> uh, what's his name? Baisley? John Baisley? Darwin? I'm unfamiliar. I don't know if it, uh... I don't know if it says who drew all this stuff on here, but I bet you can figure it out yeah. somehow with the internet. All right, here we go. A little zine style books. Give me. Ooh, there's a lot of them. So we got the player's survival guide. It's really funny that these are like just straight up zines. They're like staple, staple bound. Yeah, yep. Yeah. But it's the it's all the rules. Got some cool art in there. I think some of this is new art. I think a lot of this layout is different too from the most current rule book that I well not that I have, but that I have looked at. This fucking guy. Little engineer man. He's trying his best. And Indeed. he's getting gripped. He's getting Aren't gripped the all... fuck up. We got the Warden Operations Manual, DMG. Oh, good. The, the <laughs> rule uh, number item number one on the terms of use on the back is there is no official way to play. <laughs> That's very funny. Uh, pretty cool. Planets and factions, settlements. Oh, that's fun. Like uh, some like plot outline flow chart kind of things, like how to how to actually approach making stuff. Very cool. I like that a lot. I feel like a lot of books don't really like they a lot of systems will be like we have a lot of rules and that's what's important. And it's like it'll it'll just be pages and pages and pages of rules, but no real semblance of of how to implement those rules. No mm -hmm. no sense of like how to engage with them or how to approach getting players to engage with them. You just like like I remember that from like the old like three point five D and D books being like there there's like one paragraph where it's like Johnny roll a strength test, Jane, I rolled a 15. And it's like, that doesn't really tell me anything. <laughs> Shipbreaker's toolkit we got in here as well. Shipbreaker? Oh, shipbreaker. <laughs> okay, shitbreaker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shitbreakers and hole breachers. <laughs> Let me write, I'm going to I gotta write that Pretty down because that's going to be the episode title. <laughs> the Stephen Malkmus Brian Eno crossover collab. <laughs> Shit breakers and hole breachers. It's also going to be my next one page RPG. Nice. Love taking notes. Nice. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, that's cool. They got the uh, semiotic alphabet. That is cool. Or whatever you want to call it. Got some ship maps. Got some. Got some stuff about some stuff. I'm gonna keep that one to, a, my, to a myself. For subquest in mothership. What are your flags? <laughs> right. <laughs> you gotta. Hey, you gotta get certified if you want to take this ship. 
Zero uh, gravity, commsless docking procedure. <laughs> With your eyes closed. Unconfirmed contact Wait, reports. I love, I love that cover. That's yeah, all, all the art. Yeah, in general, so it just, just rolls. totally rips, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think it's cool. This, I guess, is uh, like a monster manual. We got some. Ooh, we got some spooky buddies in here. Check out those ladies. <laughs> Upsetting. This guy. Ooh. Also. Wow, what a reveal! It is the monster manual. <laughs> Going from those uh, ladies, to that guy. Jesus. They, they don't. They don't call it the regular folks manual. <laughs> Who added the thrash band to the Doom show? Um, I thought you were going to say Thrash Bandicoot. <laughs> also, That'll be the that next down. episode title. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this is good. Sally in the screen. <laughs> Some gear shit. Yep. Sick. Oh, this is uh, this looks like the uh, what's what's the man with the pipes name? Bob J R Bob Dobbs. Bob Dobbs. <laughs> but that's like him as that's like him as a baby, I think. Is it the that or that's his like, son? Yeah, it's, it's like, like someone him as a teen or his, his son. Someone tried to draw it? him from memory. Zodiac <laughs> or, killer. It could be Junior J R Bob Dobbs. Hell yeah. <laughs> and then finally we got this the uh the official one e intro adventure which i'm Not. sure i'll i'll run for you guys at some point Not another. yep a, a neuter boot shoot yeah we got some we got some maps we got oh this looks like fun do you remember that you remember the underwater part in uh alien resurrection Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. it looks like that remember I, the still, I still say part? alien so sorry go ahead so I was going to say remember the underwater part in the last campaign where Jim couldn't get out of the water I wouldn't call that an underwater part as much as you guys On were standing water part. <laughs> you guys were standing in like f like two feet of water <laughs> no I think I had a cleric with like a strength of 11 in like full like plate armor not a good not a good mix it was not a good yeah it was it was not uh it was not karnov's optimal environment certainly it was one of the most frustrating we fought in like 40 minutes ever. <laughs> you did figure out how to how to get out of there eventually though with the uh the immovable rods i i, I like i always think of that as like a high high water mark of a player uh Literally really using their their ingenuity to to overcome a situation that it you know for all intents and purposes the the dice does not want them out of <laughs> yeah that was like um one of the cleverest things i've ever seen a player do is what i mean well that was what they were for that's why you gave us those but um i that was like a situation that's that... not why i gave you those <laughs> I really but thought it, that that's what those were for. Like, it, if that's, I mean, that's what they wound up being for. So, maybe. I use them to work out. <laughs> Didn't but someone? Yeah, that was like. Sorry, God. The musical equivalent would have been, like the uh, the Benny Hill music at like one quarter speed. Hell yeah. Oh man! <laughs> Battletoads, mm, mm, Battletoads mm, on pause mm, mm, for forty hours. Maybe like one eighth speed. <laughs> I kind of remember the Battletoads pause music. I'm gonna see if I can find something to make YouTube videos play slower. I want to see Benny Hill slowed down to thirty-three RPM. I bet it exists. Everything's on YouTube. Yeah, I guess you can just try Benny Hill slow. 
What if it just completely rips? Oh, we got, we, got, have... we got slowed and reverb. Let's go. Are you, are you sharing? Are you sharing? Not, not slow not enough. Not, low not, enough. not nearly slow enough. I can't hear anything. Uh, I'm 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 pre pre checking. Okay. Want to want to make sure you guys only hear the best. Benny Hill slow motion is pretty good. Yeah. Okay, this is the, pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I'll share these. Share sound. Bang. <laughs> the drums sound really insane. <laughs> well, they didn't do the um, the smart thing that. Um avoids pitching it down and just stretches it out. Oh, it sounds crunchy as hell. Yes, and that's right. I mean, it doesn't sound terrible. No, the, wow. um, the Chipmunks <laughs> punk album slowed down. It's yeah. supposed to be pretty good, too. It's so good. <laughs> I'm into this. <laughs> just to play the rest of the time. <laughs> that's our new theme. Um, I wonder if we'll get a, a copyright mark for that. Well, how long did you play it for? Mm, probably longer than 15 seconds. I Isn't thought it was 30. Limit? Oh, maybe not 30. Is this the... No, this must be the new Battletoads pause music. That's pretty much the same. I'm sure this is compelling watching. <laughs> I'm into it. Yeah, that's true. I didn't even uh, I didn't even outro the, the goddamn box. That was all there was in the box. Mm -hmm. uh, it seems like a pretty cool box. Um, <laughs> I didn't even outro. Whoops. Have some have some Whoops. Yeah. Good job, My God. Like the mouse on the video. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. I didn't even notice that was in the. It's really funny. I love this show. Hey, man, Ron. <laughs> um. Bring you back to that Should sweet, we generate sweet content now. for our wonderful fans? Yeah, I could. Uh, I could generate some content now that we've uh, plumbed the, uh, the 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 unboxing farms. Uh, got some. Probably get some easy clicks on that. Thanks for watching, everyone who's yeah. here to see what's in the mothership box. You couldn't have picked a. You Make couldn't have picked a better place to come learn about it. <laughs> um, I agree. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty cool. I uh, oh, special guest. Whoa! Oh. There he is. Oh. Hey, buddy. Oh, there he is. You want some ginger ale? Are you Someone about? get this man some ginger ale. Can you speak Dutch? It seems like so he doesn't have his speakers great. plugged in, maybe. Ginger ale is like uh, the same thing as chicken soup, but it's like cold and fizzy. Huh. Right? Do you so think you could put... It... <laughs> Bye, Ross. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, no, the sound wasn't working. Ah, uh, oh, you're back, hello. though? How's it going? Yeah. Good. I didn't realize you guys were still recording. Oh, yeah. Hello. Yeah, we're doing the show. I'm here to ruin it, I guess. I don't know. No, we already <laughs> no. we already did that. 
Uh, yeah. What's your social security? I'm here to ruin it. Uh, well, uh, I'll give it to you. I'll give it in really slowly in random times in the next. <laughs> Let me give you my <laughs> randomized social security number. I promise it's the right number. No, it's real. I just mean, like, it'll be really hard to edit. <laughs> your social security number has too many numbers. <laughs> yeah. uh, how's everybody doing? Good. John. How are you? I feel like, How was oh, Europe? We terrible. just did this. Wow. What's we didn't it? play it. We just like looked through what comes. Yeah, in the we just package. did a did the unboxing. Did a foxy unboxing. It's like foxy boxing. Yeah. Uh huh. I should have take. I should have unboxed my my dermis as well. Wait, it's gotta be a thing, right? Foxy. I'm sorry. I gotta Google. Wouldn't it be like unfoxy unboxing? <laughs> unfoxy unboxing. That was that was the segment where I put the stuff back into the box. Zero fox, zero fox, box. zero foxy, <laughs> zero fox mm. given. Zero fox. <laughs> Who gifts a fox? Okay. Hand, foot, and mouth, Ben. <laughs> Fine. Just, what a <laughs> HIPAA violation. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I have Bro, can you can you see the spots? We've all got problems. Spots, eh? Yeah, can you see my spots? That's like a Dr. Seuss disease. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is. <laughs> that's kind of a little like, Dr. Seussy. Maybe. Do you get poop you, on I, you? I, probably. I guess you get it Damn. from like children. It's, co it's coccyx. Coccyx. Ben is the poop smith. I got two children. They, are they going to give me that? Um, maybe. I like you what you have now. Usually, usually there, they man. get it. Usually it's not you. Uh -oh. Usually it's them. But then sure. they can give it to you. And you get star bellies like they, those stitches. I Sl don't have slam dunk the poop into your mouth when you least expect disease. it. You don't have star, you don't have star bellies like this. Are you sneech sure? I'm sneechless. <laughs> what are the, wait, it was sneeches and what were the other ones? Or were they it all just, just it was, I believe. It was, there, was that they're one? all sneeches. It was whether you had a star or not. And then there was right. a guy who came and like oh. had a machine that put a star in your belly. And the people were like, no, I don't want to be a star bellied sneech anymore. I'm like right. cool being a regular sneech. And then all the regular sneeches were like, well, I'm going to get my star removed. I can right, be a regular right. sneech. This then... commercial break brought to you by more gummies. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Get some. Good speeches. <laughs> yeah, don't narc on <laughs> us. Sneeches get sneeches. <laughs> Uh, I never read that particular that particular <laughs> Dr. Seuss, but I do know about the star bellied sneeches from the Dead Kennedys lyric. Oh, there's a really good uh, the new uh, Couch Slut album just came out, which uh, oh sick. I think would be uh, a reality if it's not. Danny Kruger played with them at least once. Oh, is that right? They're, is they're Jello be ever in Couch Slut? We just played with them. That would be very funny. Did we, we play, play with them? them? I don't. I, did we? Yeah, we play with them and Sick Shit and another band at the Fire. Okay. What? God, the fire. What fire? a fucking nightmare. Yeah, it was bad. Was they uh, they they took all the money from the touring bands and uh, didn't wow. care at all. <laughs> Whoa. That's yeah, yeah, at least they Fuck didn't them. pull the um the, the one bartender Gerard. also had his guitar play uh, had his guitar on while he was bartending. Oh. Um, oh, guitar, tending? guitar tending, yes. God damn, I that he's walked away, but he can still hear us. Yeah, <laughs> shout out to and Paul for the uh, wireless, uh, wireless Bluetooth, whatever the fuck these are called, headphones. It's anyway, it's new car car great. and they have a <laughs> star belly. Really? Sick. They played it uh, when we played with them just a couple days ago. Mm. How was that? It was crazy. There's a lot of people there. Let's was see. that go across the pond? Water? It was across the pond. It was across two ponds. Why don't you Why don't you uh, clue our clue our viewers into the rest of what you're like the rest of these circumstances? We oh. know what you're talking about. The people at <laughs> the home. The circumstances know. were that I played a, a band called Sunrot, and we got invited to play at this uh, festival called Roadburn, which has been like a honestly a dream of mine since i was a teenager and uh i used to get those live roadburn cds and uh hell yeah and they're some of them are like better than 
the band's ever made anywhere else. And it was cool. So anyway, we got invited to play, and I didn't really think much of it because I didn't think anyone really gave a fuck about us over there and sort of not really expecting very much. Um, and then uh, we showed up, and uh, we literally, like, the room was, there was, like, a line. The room was beyond capacity, and then there was a line like all the way through the festival to try to get in which was fucking insane Whoa. um nice. fuck yeah dude that's awesome just because people just want to like check things out like i don't necessarily think they were like let's go <clears throat> see this band but it was just it made you know you feel like a fucking rock what star country was cool. it? Sick, dude. it's in the netherlands it's in holland oh, no. uh and there's it was really funny because whole they, land they, you say they Did have you eat like a street the, waffle no, I didn't eat really anything, but they have. Oh. <laughs> no, I didn't. I was there for like I was there for like six hours. It was nuts. Yeah. I don't know why I did that. Yeah, but anyway, um, the uh, the the funny thing was like, so the whole town gets taken over by this festival, and like the surrounding towns, like nothing's really going on. It's just like a bunch of little towns. So when you like walk around the towns, people are like, nice set. And it's just you're just like walking around some towns. But what's funny <laughs> is cool. what's funny is they have this problem that I've also heard of from like Germans, where they like are so fucking brutally honest to you. Yes. Yeah, and they'll yeah. say things like the one guy was like that was interviewing us and he was like, So your album, it wasn't as good as your last album, or something like that. Like just like weird <laughs> shit like that. The one guy was like. Oh my God, I would laugh so hard. The one guy was like saying like, oh, you, should like just, you should just hit him with the, I know. <laughs> yeah, well, basically we were like, oh, sorry. Sorry, you didn't like it that much. That's not what he said, but it was like something very close to that. Sorry uh, is a real funny thing to say too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops oh, but damn, my bad. But what actually, you didn't like our second album as much? My bad. Yeah, it was fine. But then, um, then was the breaks. What what was the uh, fucking uh? So like, but then they would do things like um, they're like, oh, like you didn't make me want to move at first, and then, but then I like then the third one it made me want to move, but you fucked up the first one, and I was like, okay, <laughs> like, but it was good anyway, and I was like, okay, how cool. could you possibly know that? <laughs> well, it was the the mic broke. Uh, oh. Well, micro- you also, didn't fuck that up. Also, the electricity there um, made my pedal board. So we, I guess I bought like a shitty converter or something. Sure. But it made my pedal board flip uh, function. So when the lights were off, the signal was so it was like wild. <laughs> working. And when the lights were on, it was like. So I don't so know. Weird. Fuck. And, the, and the tuner pedal was just like not even close sure. to anything. So uh yeah, That's no, it was, it was crazy. It was very fun, though. Dutch. Hell yeah. I slept <laughs> in the airport before. So next time you go, you have to bring a generator, right? Yes. <laughs> I, I need my American plugs. I need my American plugs! Also, their airport... Can... So Amsterdam Airport's the biggest airport in Europe, they told me. Cheap really? But it closes... Like, the gates... Like, the check-ins close overnight. So it's just like me and like 50 other people sleeping on like tile floor <laughs> waiting for the gates to Damn. open. Yeah, uh, Europeans don't believe in convenience and therefore uh, everything. <laughs> it sounds closes. like, I mean, it sounds like they just don't believe in night shift. Yeah. Everything closes, like the grocery yeah. store closes at like 5 30 p.m. Right, oh, yeah. There's your poor yeah. kitty. How's she feeling? Uh, oh, wait, that's, okay. that's the other one, isn't it? No, this is her. Okay. I only got one. Oh, I thought you had two. But um, Boom. like if what I remember was uh, going to the bank, yeah. and I got an ATM, but it was inside the bank, and you couldn't do the thing where you like put your your bank card in the door and it opens the yeah. door for you to get to just the ATM. Yeah. So sure. when the bank closed at like four in the afternoon, so did your access to the ATM. Right. Well, so like I fucking missed the train leaving because I I can't I couldn't figure out the military time, and uh, so I missed my train to get to the airport. So I had to I had to buy like a three hundred euro um, Uber to get to the airport. Yeah. Wow, yeah, that's so much. It was uh, it was nuts. 
I wasn't even late. Like I was German like nine hours before interview? my flight. What? I said, how much did the German pay you for your interview? For my what? Your interview. Oh, no, uh, none. Pay? No. <laughs> that, was, that was a Norwegian guy. It was. I don't know where they were from. Or no, there was probably a. It was a probably a um a Dutchman. It was probably a dude from the Netherlands. A Dutchman. Right? It was. A, yeah, there was one. There was one. Dude More like a douchman. Really nice. Yeah, a douchman. Uh, it, it's that's a thing. They're like really nice people, but there is like no filter. Yeah. They're like they'll. It's just like they'll address whatever the the elephant in the room is in a way. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to How to Click Kick Foot of a Horse, where we make fun of the Irish and the Dutch in one episode. Uh, I was in Dublin for a sec, too. That was fun. You ever notice yeah. how people from different places act fucked up? <laughs> 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 you ever notice that everyone who is people I know personally are bad? Yeah, My favorite true. Cat Williams set. <laughs> I don't even want to be on this street. <laughs> That's that my favorite mean, Cat Williams joke. Did Cat Williams get canceled or something? I love Cat Williams. I don't think so. I think he yeah. he other people. got. I, I believe he got divorced and lost custody of his kids. Oh no. Uh, and then I think he was doing drugs for a while, and then recently he put <laughs> out an inflammatory podcast. <laughs> uh, Does he tell I, it like it is? I believe he tells it like it is, and perhaps to the detriment of of people that would prefer Cat Williams not tell it like it is about them. <laughs> right. I did hear uh, him talking shit on. Uh, I haven't heard it because I couldn't figure Friday. out what show it was actually on. Um, yeah. But I'm a huge idiot, so I don't know. I also, I guess I didn't try that hard. He's making fun of one of the co-stars of Friday, and I forget who it was. Co-stars of Friday. Uh, yeah. let's see who's all in Friday. Ice Cube. It was a fucking loser guy. Is the point? Chris Tucker. A lizard? No loser. It wasn't like Chris Tucker or Ice oh. Cube. Or, uh, or, uh, uh, Tiny Jim Lister. Morrison I was, was excited. For a second. It wasn't Zeus either. Right. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I should use right his, I should use his first name. Wish it was his name. proper first name. Is it a co-star of his from Friday After Next? Uh, no, because he wasn't the end of the first Friday. He was he? Yeah, he was. He wasn't like a main part, but I don't know. I don't fucking know. Well, anyway, welcome back from Joe. Oh yeah, welcome back. Thank you. When are you going to um? When are you moving, Joe? I mean, we're. I mean, I guess we're just shooting the shit here, so. <laughs> well, I don't really know. Whenever the money's there and I can get another house. Ah, I hear you. Okay, gotcha. There's no real hardcore date built. Gotcha. Soon is it was next Friday time. that Cat Williams was in. Okay. Next Friday. I don't want to talk too much shit on him because he might like, you know, throw down with us or uh, throw a salt yep. shaker at us. Apparently, is a thing that he's done or uh, sure, the tracks. That's pretty funny. That's a pretty funny thing to do to somebody. I guess he was in a restaurant, so that makes a little bit more sense. Oh, that's less funny. It's still pretty mm. funny. It's still pretty funny, but like, <laughs> you just had a salt shaker. Just chucked it from your Harry's like, has like a bandolier of salt shakers on yeah. him at all times, and he just all like, types of spices. You if you make him mad. Don't make me throw this adobo. This can is big as fuck. <laughs> He's a salty bee. He goes to Margaritaville. Just throw salt at everybody. That would be so. I would be. It would. I mean, like. I don't think a can of adobo is like actually big enough to like actually hurt you, but I do think in a scenario if someone threw the can at you and it was either open or they threw it hard enough that it broke open and you got adobo all up in your eyes and nose and mouth all mm -hmm. at the same time, I I feel like you would be down. We should would, throw. You would be put down. I mean, not like, like, not like forever, like but you would be like, I can't do anything. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like that guy doing all the spice melange, she would just start going really fast. Right, yeah. <laughs> you should, it, you should it turns out spice spice melange is real. It's just adobo. <laughs> you just have to like OD on it. <laughs> I want to see uh, somebody. So I, I guess you guys aren't really a deathmatch wrestling people, but 
they you know they hit each other with light tubes. I don't know if you've ever seen. Those. Sure, I've right. I've seen like clips throughout right. my life. So, I remember the ECW that, infomercials. Sure, sure. Instead of the light tubes, I think we should get some um like Pillsbury uh biscuit <laughs> containers and just whack them whack them overhead and they pop and they. Well, the only tube. if we can get them at. That I feel length. like that would really we hurt. Need them at that length. I want. <laughs> yeah, I want... Like, yeah, if you could get really <laughs> long crescent roll tubes, that would be awesome. Need them extra long, you know? That but, would, um, that's brain they, damage right there. They sell canned uh, pizza crust in kind of like a long crescent roll tube. Sure, it pops we'll, the same. That's it. We'll do it as long as it's under pressure and it'll pop. Yeah, that's spoons. Anyway, spoons is fine. Spoons is just Great. the crystals in her pee, so we have to put her oh. back. Her special food. Um, so yeah, that's Poor so baby, rare baby. for uh, the females. Usually, it's the males that get that. Yeah, uh, the vet said that it's huh. like basically been every single one of her cats. So, huh? Then, yeah, I thought it was just cats in general. She said that. Uh, she said prone to prone to those kinds of illnesses yeah. for whatever reason. She gave him. She gave us a bunch of cat Xanax and you know gabapentin <laughs> and. Uh, Yes, How's that been treated? Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> what? Um, what? The spoons have a water dish that is like six feet away from her food dish, her litter box, and like high traffic areas. Yes. Okay. Because sometimes you just need to add a water dish and um, then they drink more water and it doesn't get rid of the problem once they have it, but it helps a lot. She has uh, one of those fucking flower fountains that, yeah, we have that. She drinks it and she drinks like the entire flower fountain. Every single time I fill it. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, she's, we, she's we should talk. Her. We'll talk thirsty off, buddy off, che- off pod uh, about the food. So yeah, Briar Briar's going through the PU surgery. And, oh yeah. Uh, we're, he's on the top notch non crystal food. So we'll yeah, talk we got the, still got it. We got the hills. Rough yeah, uh, polo guy. Prozac helped her a lot the first time this happened. Um, just took a long time. Like took a couple months before it totally went away. A little buddy, huh? Yeah. Because it's all anxiety related, I guess. Cats are fucking weird. Same with really, yeah, yeah. They're like in- inflammation and the um the kidney stone stuff is like all anxiety related, apparently. Yeah. Or like can be. Damn. Yeah. I don't know. That's a damn oh, shame. No. Worst yeah. worst thing about cats. Cats are stressed out. What's even happening? What's this cat got to worry about? Right? Not you ain't got no bills. <laughs> you ain't got no job. <laughs> no job. We pet Just you all the time. Cat you get pets yeah. and food, and yeah. can you get to you get to dump in the living room? <laughs> yeah. I think yeah. what might be missing is uh, you got to kiss them on top of their footies, their fuzzy little head more That's often. True. Right. I, that helps. Yeah. I heard you. They, they, they do need that. more. They do need more forehead kisses. Even yeah. when it seems like they don't like it, they, they need more forehead kisses than it seems like they need. Yeah, that's true. Truly one of the like gr- greatest pleasures in life is kissing cat on their forehead. Whoa. Oh, that's fun. I'm doing I discovered how I'm going to tell this yellow D20 apart from my other yellow D20. Wait, hold on. Come back. Come back. Come back. What is the, uh, what's the greater than sign right next to it? Or is that a seven? Oh, That's a seven. A, <laughs> they, look, they look equal. Both lines look equal. Yeah, no, holding we it need an this ASCII way D20. makes it look like that. Yeah, we need yeah. an ASCII D20 that just has like all the brackets and shit. Yeah. Oh, this sucks. <laughs> Winding 20. This dice sucks. <laughs> How am I supposed to remember simple. what this maps to? Fuck. When, when we did that... Uh, <laughs> At PAX, they always have those. Like they have these D20s that are like fucking unreadable. Just weird ones. Yeah. That's yeah. Fun. Function F7. What the fuck? <laughs> I just remember I was trying to find it for when we had the in-person campaigns, just to show you guys. But uh, back in the day, you could get a D100 that was like a little bit bigger than a golf ball. Yeah. And it would just roll and roll and roll. <laughs> I've seen and, it. Uh, They're dumb. What I ended up buying instead was the the first of the large. Oh, wait, it's not a D100. It's a probably the the only time i've ever successfully you guys have seen this anyone. one yeah 25 oh 30. 30 yeah i have okay yeah yeah nice the d100 is funny because i remember it's kind of hard to tell what's the actual top 
But yeah, you can get a D30. Sure, it has to be like and a D36, I think, also. D36. I had a D1. Um, <laughs> I really well, it's like that was it like the closed like horseshoe shape so that it could only land on the one side no it's a um it's like a uh it's or is it just a ball like, no well that should just be a ball but no it's like um it's like if you took play-doh and you like went like this it's like that sort of like oblong snake shape and it just has a one on it and it just rolls <laughs> that's pretty funny dumb as fuck i love it there's a d2 What's that's the, like that too yeah, I was, uh, what well, D2s just flip a coin, but uh, I was very unimpressed with the prismatic metal dice. Like, yeah. when I first had, heard about metal dice, I thought, oh, well, that's cool. And then it's like, it's just like a log. Yeah. <laughs> Heavy. Yeah. Do you want that girth? You want that girth? Need that girth. Oh, wait. What? You want to sound like you're clicking bones? Click the bones. Roll them bones. Roll them bones. Roll them bones. I don't want. It's like aluminum guitars. Like I can deal with the uh, the two cones with like the things a little bit more than like the just log one. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. It's not fun. I'm it's trying not... to find the the weird shaped D one. <laughs> yeah, it's called a singularity. Oh, so wait, no. Jim, are you? Do you like Connie at all? I do. Yeah, I like him all right. I, anyway, I got to see them there, which was amazing. Really? That's cool. It was fucking cool. It was super cool. I saw them one time. I didn't. I've never had the I mean, I was like 16 last time they played a show. What was the West Philly church? The Church of the Divine Light? Oh, yeah. You, would have, you have to join it to go see shows there. And yeah, so that's get pretty funny. Exempt status. Yeah. yeah, I do remember was, that actually. I saw them play there with Jail. Or Jail. I know a current band named and, Jail, but. And was, was that the band that uh, Jay from Century was in? Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, the band Oak played too. That was a loud, I remember that was a loud one. Yeah, that's a loudie. <laughs> loudie, but a goodie. Oak. Yeah, that church had a, it had a load in that was like a loading dock. It was like a. 30 degree cement slab from the outside but it was also where the people walked in and out so people were just constantly fucking like tripping up hill walking outside it was very funny that rules <laughs> <laughs> i can't find the fucking weird uh weird d1 that i'm thinking of because my brain doesn't work good but it's basically like uh it's like a closed horseshoe shape, but the bottom of it is rounded and it's weighted as such so that when you throw it in the air, it can only land on the one side. That's fine. <laughs> it's very cool. I would I would love to get one of those if I could find if I could find it again and convince yeah. myself to spend, I don't know, eight bucks on something extremely stupid. Yeah. Which is almost never a problem. Um, <laughs> a slice of as long, bread. As, long as I've got eight seven. bucks, mm, yeah, sure. Yeah, that's the the real nature's D one is just. I'll yeah. let, let me keep her in mind. Oh, What's up, Frida? Welcome to the show. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going? Pretty good. I forgot to uh, say that I was coming down here. It's her. Well, now you're on the show. <laughs> that's fine. Yeah. I can. I can. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just leave it. Okay. <laughs> um. All right. Yeah, sorry. I didn't register. That's okay. I didn't yeah. know you. All right. Uh, good night. Good night. Good night. Yeah, can I take her? I'm not. Yeah. We never spoke about that at all. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. She has to to buy Philadelphia basement talk. Oh. Can you turn it off for a while? Good night, baby. Hold on. Good night, little child. Sure. Good night for now, Ross. <laughs> you soon. Yeah, you know. What? Why? Can we play games? Yeah, you guys want to quip upon. Uh... You can do that. Do that. Let's see if uh, Hossman want to quip.
uh, is your beverage whiskey and water this evening? Yeah, I've been uh, I've been pretty steady on the whiskey and water for I'd say most of this year, honestly. Um, good for hydration. <laughs> yeah, it was what like you know the first uh, first few weeks I was doing it, I was saying mostly joking, but like also kind of true. Uh, I've essentially, I, I, if my math is correct and, you know, averaging things, I've basically halved my alcohol intake and tripled my water intake. <laughs> yeah. So probably your, your money. Intake. Okay. Yeah. Works. yeah. I'm definitely spending less money for sure. Um, 30, 30 ish bucks on a handle of whiskey every week and a half is much cheaper than a case of beer every four days. <laughs> That's like a sure. Taco Bell trip for one. Yeah. Or, uh, or man, if I if I one. if I still ate fast food, I would be completely ruined. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, it's not great. I would I be a I would I would be a hot mess. It was terrifying having to buy fast food recently and I was just like wait did I just go to Taco Bell and spend like $15 on a, a value meal or some shit? Right. Like, on yeah. ultimately not that much food? Yeah. yeah I, uh, I it's really insane. A family of four from Taco Bell. Right. It's really insane that they've like uh, how do you even describe it? It's like the, 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 like the weirdo brand loyalty brain that so many people have in this country where like even though mcdonald's isn't good has not been good for years and years and years the point was that it and was nothing. is not cheap anymore people are still like i just like mcdonald's and it's like do you actually like food at all <laughs> like i don't like, think you do the thing that you could actually kind of make an argument for would be the fries and like, you know, if you if you really sure the fries like, fill fine. your car with that smell, just like get like a little thing of the fries. Now I, I, we've gone there recently and it's just crazy expensive. It it's worse. It's bad. Go. Like they're taking their revenge for living wage laws and making it all like really automated in a really annoying way. Right. Isn't it funny how they're like, w if if we have to give people more money, then we'll have to charge more. And then they're like, psych, we're going to just fire a bunch of people and make fucking make you do it when you come get it, idiot. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're going to charge more anyway. And we're yeah. Gonna, and then we're, we're going to charge make, more anyway. We're going to make there be Ridiculous. two drive through lanes. And we're also going to make you just like pull ahead and park and wait for us to bring shit out to you. No, it sucks. Yeah, it ain't it ain't fun. The punks yeah. were right. Imagine yeah. that. Let that be a lesson to you, old man. Shitty as we thought it was gonna be thirty years ago, children. Crass tried to warn you. <laughs> True, and they got to enjoy the socialism of the seventies and eighties in the UK. Right. See that socialism. Yeah. Pizza, Which got a little pizza, a little pizzacco, the tiniest um, pizzacco. <laughs> that's the pizzacco bite. It's like an Oscar-winning film, the tiniest pizzacco, the best animation short. <laughs> Just a little guy. So I, uh, with the uh, arrival of the mothership dice, I officially have to upgrade to my my new slightly larger dice bag because I couldn't fit them in the other one. <laughs> yeah, I keep them separated. Whoa! Probably. Do you not. guys have um grocery outlet bargain marts? Uh, what do you mean? I've never seen one, but I've seen the ad for it, which yeah. makes me never want to step foot in it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I I remember hearing about it. I is it in the area. is it like grungy? Oh no, it's I I'm not like being judgy like that. It's just very annoying. Like I guess oh. it's, in a way, it's kind of a cool throwback in that it has a jingle. But like, love a jingle. They um, 
local jingles. They just have these like, weird little staged like uh, things of uh, people shopping there, and it's just annoying ads. Yeah. Well, there's there's one that opened like like 200 feet from my house, oh. and um, um, it's kind of weird. It sort of like feels really like late stage capitalismy. Sure. The, like, the whole conceit is like it's food that's like not selling well elsewhere that gets like it's like an outlet store but for food mm -hmm. um so they always have like weird ass shit like especially like we're all vegan so like a, a, you can buy these like frozen vegan like deluxe pizza things for like um like four bucks a pop like these big frozen pizzas or like they'll have um that sounds banging like liquid death like cases and cases of liquid death for like like five bucks because it's fucking water and it shouldn't be twenty six sure per case. I found out that uh one of the I don't know if he's a co owner still, but one of the co founders of Liquid Death was a uh, a real big idiot that came to the bar that I worked at all the fucking time in Newark. That sounds about white. <laughs> about white, yep. about white. <laughs> he was as far as i'm aware <laughs> if i had if i had to guess he was absolutely a white guy i i, I totally uh, yeah, thought, was a white guy yeah i felt for that shit immediately could, it's it's a marketing company they they admit it too. yeah like they like yeah. they did it as a joke yeah. yeah basically and then it worked and then they're like okay yep. well, well let's build this as a marketing company we'll make this we'll prove well, that we can just sell the having a tall like boy drink school. having a tall boy drink that does not have alcohol in it is like duh like what the fuck like of course i want sure. that sure like yep. all the time so uh, you're so when you're having I, a drink I, I have two when you're having a non beers in here oh nice <laughs> no there's like an aesthetic Dude. pleasure to like drinking a beer that is like kind of an unspoken part of the like um pull or addiction to drinking i feel like and that's like sure. this like in, entirely satisfies and us it's like holding gold... 16 yeah. ounces in your hand yeah. yeah it's got a gold rim it's white can it's like it's it looks like a fucking beer it looks like a miller yeah i have huh. one year and one week sober hell yeah dude and, uh, yeah, the, the, the six thank you thank you i'm gonna toot my horn but yeah the pounder what's your horn eggs. yes the pounder i do miss because i don't want to Fucking Coke. I don't want 16 ounces of soda in my hand. Yeah, yeah that's too like, much. Like just having this. Yeah. It feels great. You should do a non alcoholic wizard staff sometime. <laughs> that's very true. You'd be so much with you. Know, right? Uh, like, I'm so yeah. hydrated. <laughs> the liquid death, the black yeah, liquid death. You peed. The, um, the bubbles are like somehow like beer bubbly. I don't know how to explain it. Like it's not seltzer bubbly. It's like beer bubbly. Mm. There's yeah. nitrogen. Probably they're like little. Nah. I don't know. Nitrogen's way finer. But anyway, I don't. Like... I know that I'm being fooled, but I, I totally hook line. Must be a noble I mean, guess. like there's levels of carbonation. It could just be like <laughs> the appropriate level At of carbonation. You know. Just like to drink that better. Yeah, I mean, some, people, some people are like, "Yo, I really love polar," and some people are like, "I can't stand polar." I do love polar. Oh, I, po wicked, polar wicked is wicked great. Wicked. I have like a polar addiction, but the fucking uh, one that I can't do is uh, what is it? The one that Jenna always had, Ivan. But like, I, I can't do it. Yeah, but it's oh just, yeah, she likes so the much, It's so much like more acidic and like huh. yeah. it's a lot of bo a lot like of bubbles LaCroix. in there. LaCroix, uh, owned, famously owned by Fago. Huh. Really? Yeah. Fago. Whoop, whoop. The rules. They're like, God, what if we... So oh they're like, God. you know our super sweet sh syrupy sugar soda? So funny, what if we man. do the opposite? Let's make water. Let's <laughs> make water. <laughs> Yo, Shaggy too dope. What if we just made water? <laughs> Detroit. I don't know. Detroit people don't say water, but um, this might be a yeah, South Jersey sure. thing. Did you guys you ever? Just that ready to go. Did you guys ever uh, cross paths with Boost? Boost. Boost Mobile is my phone provider. No. 
Uh, oh, okay, different boost. Oh, no. Is it like the like rhino the horn pill? Is friend boost? Is it the dick pill? It's you like, take, yeah, you take one to beat it up and you take two to kill it. No, I know, I know be, boost. Uh, is that it would like be the swag, but I think what you really need is Stree Overlord. <laughs> Dude, the Stree part? Overlord. Like, like Fist of the North Star art on it. Is, I is mean, it's drop. full. It's full on Chun Li and and Ryu. <laughs> on the one, on the one I'm thinking of, there is it's uh, no mistake in them. <laughs> uh, I found Nestle Boost, which is a uh, protein drink that I recognize. Is that what it is? No, this is not the Nestle one. It's just the Boost Company. Um... It's like an uncarbonated cola. Um, oh, uncarbonated cola. Boost cola. Oh, I found it. Oh wow, this looks just go, I'm gonna silly. go open a soda for my fridge and check on the. This shit, this shit looks like <laughs> fucking. This shit looks like some like moonshiner like like beverage. Wait, here let's. I'm gonna do this here. Is that boost? Oh, and it's spelled with the exclamation it's, point. It looks like it would be it's just the bum jug. <laughs> are you sure that's not a? Are you sure that's not Carlo Rossi? It's a health yeah, drink. Yeah, it definitely Holy comes fuck. in a Carlo Rossi jug for sure. It's capable, it's capable like of giving it drink. endurance and last minute strength. Last minute. What's the um? It, it, it overcome anesthetic and calm nausea. It does calm nausea probably because it is just yeah, cold. It's literally just cola, right? With sugar. With I mean, I used to have cola syrup. You're, su like you're, su you're supposed to mix it with seltzer, though, right? Like this isn't yeah. marketed as though like it's okay to to just drink it on its own. Oh, right? so people drink it. People drink it flat. The people who like it drink That's it. That's terrible. Yeah. That's you can make it. You can That's combine so it with bad. milk if you're a fucking psycho. Oh no. I learned about a drink called an egg cream recently and well, was no highly, highly upset. Right. Uh, I was surprised. I, I think more than anything, I was relieved that it didn't have eggs involved. Yes, um, that's fair. But seltzer milk is a very upsetting it's prospect. Weird. It's weird. It's weird. But you're, when they mix that yeah. shit up really good, it's like a milkshake. It's also not seltzer, right? It's tonic, right? No, I think it's no. seltzer it's club soda. Water. Is it? It's I like soda. Soda. The, the one I egg, the egg cream is traditionally was not. seltzer milk fox you bet. What yeah. is that? So that's the chocolate syrup that they use. Oh right, fox's you bet. It. It's not Hershey's. It's not like okay. a uh, it's a specific chocolate syrup. <laughs> I thought you said Foxy Zubat, which is going to be a Google search that I regret. Foxes. You gotta show screen for that. Foxy Zubat is very okay. good as well, but no, no. All right, we're not we're not getting any Foxy Zubat. Let's just try Sexy Zubat. Of course. Hey, there we go. That one worked. That hit. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna. I don't think any of these are well. You know, life is not safe for work, but I don't think there's any explicit pornography on here. So, bam! Oh, no. <laughs> Welcome to How to Kick Flip a Horse, where we look the at sexy zoo really bad. Good. This one? <laughs> That's my favorite. Because it's Squidward? Amazing. This is pretty. This is very funny. The gold bag. I would be. I would be so upset if I encountered that in the wild. <laughs> oh no! A wild sexy gold bag is something else. The ones oh. that are real are very unsettling. I'm not going to scroll down anymore for the yeah, sake. That's really all you want to do. I don't like this. Uh, I don't like this. That was kind of fun. Do you guys? Uh, uh, you guys want to get some quiplash in? Sure, I'll do a quick flash. I can quick, quick. I have to wash my brain folds. Can we do a 30-second? Yeah, do what you got. Ah, shit. I got a pussy. Fuck, spoons. Jesus Christ. Sorry. Hi, I'm a cat. <laughs> Good cat. A plus cat. No more. I don't need a vasectomy anymore. <laughs> I mean, 
<laughs> punctured that... my nutsack, so it's just well, <laughs> now it leaks it out. I I don't know. I, I don't know enough about That's medical what science. Is, right? to, it's, just a, to... it's just a bunch of cum in a bag, right? That's... I, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. And P. Right. Um, P is stored it, in the balls. It gets filtered out. I, ball. uh, I, at one point in my life, uh, dated a girl who told me that when she was young, Ew, she, weirdo. she, yeah. come on. Um, she told me that when she was young, she thought that, uh, each testicle was in its own bag. <laughs> <laughs> it's so do, you, do, you, do you guys do you guys do you think that that's like you know like how cleft lips are a thing do you think cleft sacks oh are shit a oh i got a cleft sack it's closed up the middle I feel it like... looks like a it looks like a heart when i when i lay on my back because <laughs> that's like really funny would jenna know about that that seems like a medical yeah heart. yeah get her in here now <laughs> it's some medical advice uh, I, should, I should do it for the bit, but I, I don't think she's gonna appreciate it. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> that's fine. She's like she'll, she'll just like her face will fall, and she'll just be like, "What I do is very important." She'll be like, "I paused my nature my show for this." <laughs> You're in here looking Sorry. at sexy Zubat, and I paused my <laughs> I paused my show for this. Hey, babe. Babe, sleep in, like sleep in the yard. That's what she would say. Balls? Sleep in the sleep in the yard, sleep idiot. In the yard. <laughs> in the yard that we don't have. We have, we have a yard. yard. We have a really nice. Oh yeah, yard. well you do have a, that sitting here. That's true. It's a sitting area. Yeah. yeah. What? And if you put a tent up in it when your partner is mad at you, it's a it's a yard. Yeah. That's fair. That's okay. I take it back. Isn't there like a little nook you could sleep in, like a little? Isn't there like a little like? Yeah, kind of the like whole thing's a nook. Little animal house. Isn't there like some little? Like shed for wood or something. And there's, the, there's there's the wood pile, uh, and there remember... used to be a hole into the house that a possum lived in. Oh, uh, maybe that was it. I do remember. I think like... that's. I think that's probably what you're thinking <laughs> of. And I think yeah. one of the neighbors had one winter had set up like a outdoor cat shelter. I think yeah, maybe it was that too. I do remember. It was just like a. It was just like a bucket under the wood plank bench, though. Yeah. Oh, I got a sign of life from uh, New Joe, by the way. Oh, yeah. How's he doing? He's good. I asked him a baseball question, and he answered it, and then answered no follow-up questions. Amazing. About classic classic New Joe. Uh, for for viewers just joining us, New Joe was uh, the uh, the former the fifth, fifth member of our party uh, when we played in person and not on stream. Um and then it turned out he didn't like playing on the internet. And uh, then we got Ben, which I consider a win. Not that I, you know, not that I don't miss New Joe, but Ben's great. Oh, is he <laughs> band again? Uh, I don't know. Last time I talked to him, he was saying he, he said he was jamming with someone, but I don't think they had anything like nailed down at all. I liked uh, I liked all of his bands. I liked uh, yeah. Humo. Yeah, a lot. Humo was good. Human Shapes was really good. Human Shapes was great. Yeah. Um, he had really funny tastes, which I thought was great. He like, he it was like completely inconsistent, but he just was very, he felt very strongly about what sucked and what didn't. It was great. Yeah. That's, he also has my best. He also had my best. Uh, he has the best. He had the best description of new swans, which was just like. <laughs> It was like somebody just like playing tremolo on a guitar and then like Michael Jira just like, oh, oh, just like moaning into a microphone for 25 minutes. That's about right. Hell yeah. Is the Swans and Sun are like the same thing now? Well, no. Nujo, if you're out there somehow watching this, know that we miss you. <laughs> and you're welcome back anytime. And maybe since I got that Mothership box set, I'll set up an in-person Mothership game sometime. He likes sci-fi shit, right? Don't we all? Okay. All right, I'm getting this quiplash set up. You guys ready to make some funny ha-has? Some, <laughs> some, some japes? Nah, fuck that. <laughs> Not really. 
but no, I hate jokes. Oh. Uh, you see a picture of me as a child? Yes. Whoa. Look at that tiny little zang. Position and go. Thing. Wait, first base? <laughs> that was my first base based on the geometric situation. All right, that's first base. That's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Called it. Yeah. It's very funny to me that you just saw, like, that close up of a photo and we're like first base, right? Yeah. <laughs> what are you? What are you first the grass, base? Man. These guys are the professionals, grass. you know. They, they professionals. Know the More like professionals. <laughs> That's Ugh. a good name. That's the best name ever. Professionals. You can have it, Zang. <laughs> Let's all type it in. <laughs> I like when we do that and then I never know who was anybody. <laughs> What? Someone like, weren't weren't we playing this not that long ago? And someone just put in someone else's like actual name. <laughs> like Joe Joe typed in Jim. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. That's very fun. Mello mm -hmm. Biafra. Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. It's like mellow yellow. Joe. It's just like mellow yellow. This one's for new Joe. <laughs> <Take Joe. laughs> I love this show. <laughs> I still like this one. <laughs> oh boy, Elton John. <laughs> That's a good nice. one. That's all of us, yeah. <laughs> Count the zoom windows real quick. Elton John, John Ill. I was thinking Elton John Ill, like Kim John Ill, but Kim Jong Ill, Tom John. <laughs> Amen, brother. Amen. You can say that again. You can say that twice. I probably won't. I hope you do. <laughs> Kim Jong. Uh, no. He's doing it. He's doing it. I tried. I failed. Wow. It's like when Evil Knievel fell into the Grand Canyon after having problem. already jumped. After having already jumped the Grand Canyon. And somehow society still sucks. Yeah. What happened? Worst of all possible worlds, I tell you. Just because he's not alive. Eat myself easy. <laughs> Oh man, this is upsetting. I got an upsetting one. Hmm. You know, we all have our, uh, we all have our strong days and our, our weak days. <laughs> oh, no, you it's know? not that. It's, like, just legitimately upsetting. Oh, I was sorry. <laughs> I was I was referring to my answers that oh, I'm yeah. nonplussed <laughs> about. <laughs> it's a warm-up. But, yeah, this, okay. this game always gives you some, some horrors. That is good. I hope it is shoplift to baby food. That's just... <laughs> 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 The Statue of Freedom is like a uh, just like an the... eagle. Damn! Shut out on the first round. Yeah, no, I was a... funniest I, I, friend. I thought... Yeah, no, I thought it was cute, but, but I also knew that this was not the crowd for this. Shoplifted next... baby food is good. It makes you think. Volcano. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Big <laughs> ship. <laughs> I mean. I was gonna say the sun, but the big ship. Oh, wow. oh. Sorry, Joe. Big ship. Yeah, about it. 
<laughs> a lot of people will see it. Big shit. <laughs> There's a lot of people on that ship. Not, not, worse than, not worse than falling into the Grand Canyon. Oh, this is this is good. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> Ozzy. That's uh that's really good. Both of those are too good. <laughs> <laughs> no which one to pick. Damn. Oh fuck. That was the right that, choice. That was the better that, choice. Laugh on every round today. I do think that he yeah, probably crazy. won't be able to spell his own name, so I did like the part of the joke. It's, yeah. All right, so this one's a thinker, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I can't vote twice. <laughs> <laughs> Why does the dog say penis? He can't type good. He doesn't have thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm so glad I finally split this one. <laughs> that was a good one. This one's a thinker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, slam dunk. On- only one of those is guaranteed to work. <laughs> <laughs> Great things. I want to see. Content warning, I suppose. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> on the board. I have like so much pressure in my head right now from <laughs> being sick and laughing. Oh, man. <laughs> it's great, though. It's fine. I hope it, uh, I hope oh. some, I hope some stuff shoots out of your head. Oh, it'll be great. <laughs> so you can get some relief. So what? The lobotomy will do that. Sure. You got yeah, ice pick handy? A little trepanation. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> oh no. Ooh, my my mind would piss off some hippie punks, I think my answer. Oh, that's me. No, no. It emphasis on hippie. Oh, hippie. Right. <clears throat> oh, boy. <clears throat> I do have my Flux of Pink Indians record right here. Tube disaster. I don't know why he wants to marry a tube disaster. I don't actually understand that one. The, the next crisis. It's like... Uh... You know. Why does he want to marry it, though? You, you talking about the crisis on infinite Earths? No, just the tube disaster crisis. I don't know what that is. Well, <laughs> tube disaster is a song where uh, bunch of big Indian things about subway or <laughs> tube disasters, subway problems. Oh, that and, kind of and, tube. And it's about how, how uh, whatever, we'll talk about it later. <laughs> Out of school. Great callback. Immediate, but also, I really. <laughs> getting, getting the spelling right is really good. <laughs> and the dedication. You're going to love funny. some of these later ones. <laughs> Shit, I'm just going to start typing the same thing for every. What <laughs> <laughs> I do in the <laughs> They went to I'm Irish. sorry, Red Dirt Rocket, but... <laughs> Another Ireland reference. Thank you, Ireland. <laughs> yeah. oh. It's hard. That's not a country singer. Next up by... <laughs> Next up, it's Pemis McHard with Woof, 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 Woof. <laughs> we don't know why they named the dog that. <laughs> oh, nice. I have to. <laughs> So this one's a thinker, huh? <laughs> the tube disaster. I mean, I think kombucha should just basically never be made at all, right? <laughs> That's the joke. That's how he pisses off the hippie bucks. I, oh, the tube I see. disaster. Got it. Oh, Damn, so I'm many shout about outs. making your own, like a <laughs> multi-foot yes. long Pillsbury uh, crescent roll tube. It is a tube thing I'm done myself. <laughs> the original oh, tube disaster. Oh no. Uh, well, that's funny. <laughs> I think I'm for sure. It's just true. What's true right. to me? Yeah, it's just true. 
Sometimes that's the funniest is if you just answer this like you're like completely straight. Right? I, I was like, I'm not funny right now. I don't know what the like I'm just like, how does that would do it? This is sad. This is my favorite. What is me? Someone else is going to destroy my crotch later. <laughs> Thank you, Ivan. So, so if their dad is Minos, that makes them the Minotaur. Oh, there yes. you go. Which would be awkward for the Minotaur to ride a mechanical ride bull. Yeah. yeah. We got it. It was, a, it was a bit of a thinker. I wanted to walk you through. <laughs> it's like the lipstick. <laughs> what, what, what we have a lot of thinkers tonight. <laughs> This is a. This might be our most cerebral episode yet. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, I ate a whole gummy of fun. So <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Another thinker here. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, I need to think really hard about it. I biffed. So, like, I everybody, when you're reading these, mm -hmm. before you say anything, think about them. Okay. You, know, <laughs> when you think about them. <laughs> <laughs> First one's shoot bottom diarrhea and the second one's bottom diarrhea. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Miles Teller got in this shit, huh? <laughs> oh man. No way to go. <laughs> These feel very the same. <laughs> A lot of accidental vasectomies oh. happening in the tube disaster. It's a different kind of. Oh, I got one vote. Wow, I thought that was. I'm sorry, we're, we're, sorry. We're, I'm sorry. We're not looking for botched vasectomies tonight. We're not oh, looking for cum jokes tonight. Not tonight. We would have won the we next half. Fingers. We want fingers like huge pile of diarrhea. Because <laughs> what would that show even be? <clears throat> Also, how do yeah, you pile you. diarrhea? It should really be more of a puddle. It's more of a moat. It's like a soft serve. <laughs> Every, everybody felt pretty good about Tube Disaster. All right, we have to play the song Tube Disaster. Yeah, you, you all even see it. Yeah, it's a song. Yeah. Oh. That's, That's the band. The concept. It's, from, it's from this Flux record. Of Pink Indians. Flux of Pink right. Indians. Strive to survive the uh, least suffering possible. Yeah. That's it's, a, it's, a James, not. it's a hot banger from like 19. It's a hot banger. They just re released it, so you should look at the new one. Ooh, you should. <laughs> yeah, this shit moves. Oh, it's going to have a little poem in the beginning, so you might want to skip that. Yeah. Wait until you hear the bass line. Smell the loose smell. Chocolate food. Why not bury it? Listen Welcome to How to Kick Club of Horse, where we listen to Flux of Pink Indians. Sort of sounds like, um... What's the goddamn... That's when I reach for my revolver band. Mission of Burma. Oh. Oh. Sounds like Mission of Burma. Oh, Mission of Burma. Yeah. That's a cool... Uh, they were contemporaries. <laughs> I like good. Uh, them and the Mob are the are the two best uh, Crash Records bands. Oh, well, yeah, pretty big. The Mob yeah. is a pretty good band name. Mob the Mob is, is very good. good. Now, you would cool. actually like them, I think. Yeah. I'll check them out. You like They're you like to be top. What's uh, uh, what's what's like an album by the Mob? There's only one. It's called oh. uh, something Doves something something. 
doves? No doves, doves here. Doves may cry. No doves fly here. The best That's song on that record is a uh, song <laughs> I, I Wish. Friends. Because uh, I Wish is um, the lyrics are like, you when you start listening to it, you're like, this can't possibly be what they're doing in this song. And then it just keeps going and you're like, this is fucking like so stupid. And then by the end, you're like, this is amazing. This is the best song I ever heard. <laughs> I'll look into that one. You guys want to get yeah, another like, round in here? Yeah, let's do it. And then sure. uh, call it for the evening? Sure. Yeah. All right. Sam Plowers. Quiplash. Let's keep those let's keep those quiplash numbers high. Oh, I turned off my phone. That was the All most right. the most quiplash the most shutouts I've I think I've ever seen. Certainly the most consecutive ones. It was. Good round. Sometimes the crowd goes, baby. Sometimes. This is what it's like to be on ESPN. I feel a lot better about that round of answers, <laughs> which means I'll probably do worse. Oh, did I share sound on this with you guys? No. Oh, whoops. I already clicked stop. Uh. Bring it back. There we go. <laughs> um, 20 seconds shh, hold on <laughs> don't shush me <laughs> shush your fucking mouth <laughs> one thing about Ivan he talks too much I fucked up but I, I, I feel like that a lot of the time <laughs> like 90% oh. of the time I talk I'm like I could have I could have skipped that <laughs> no not at all <laughs> there are two there are two wolves inside of you. <laughs> There's this week's reel. Thank you. I should use Lord Perambulation. Like, those were amazing, but that one got me real bad. Oh, God, so God. I spent most of the time. Oh man, you'll see why in my other one. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> again, <I'm> so... <laughs> the, the again really gets I get me. it. Mistaken. <laughs> Pretty good. Uh, Pretty good joke. But <laughs> large bag of horse semen is more upsetting, oh, so I chose wins. that. Yeah, because she's not actually a horse. <laughs> number one. <laughs> That's so stupid. I was this close to straight up saying monkey beer. <laughs> I would have went with ooh, oh, ah. with that too. <laughs> monkey ooh, beer with ah, 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 ah. I was ooh, astonished ah. that nobody they don't know threw in is. like just like the name of a regular mass market <laughs> beer that they don't Cheers, <laughs> Miller. <laughs> Just <laughs> <laughs> oh. guys, do you like <laughs> fuck without a C though? It's pronounced Fook. <laughs> uh, nice. Gotta go with the ODP. Yeah. Nope, cops coming. Uh, you know, like that. You like it wrong. My, I said fuck on YouTube. Oh no. Uh, yep. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, how? Is, I mean, true? can it be Pima's hard? Pima's hard it? records. 
I don't know. I feel like I'd be pissed if I walked up to a food yeah, truck yeah. and they were like, we don't actually have you, food. You, I'd be like, but I'm hungry. Don't get free points for my shows. <laughs> I, uh, I just, I didn't, I ran out of time. It's okay. It's so a fair thing to say when you run out of time. It's penis hard. Yeah. <laughs> penis, penis hard. hard. Penis hard. 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 <laughs> it's like a dog yawning. Yeah. Heart. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Oh, shit. Ow. <laughs> Shit. I made myself laugh. That's hilarious. <laughs> Uh, uh well <laughs> forgot to turn my video off for that one well don't worry about why I just had a lighter right next to my face, viewers at home. Doesn't concern you. Yep, 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 yep. Oh. We're throwing this round. Oh, no, 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 no. no, I missed. Oh, I had a really good one. It just didn't. Oh, no. I... oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> It says worst name, not best name. <laughs> I would not win that. That's okay, the best name. As well, Volaki, Volaki Raptor. Do you know how fast I would get a car if it was named Velociraptor? <laughs> Never mind that other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Here's where you need it. <laughs> Chastising us. Uh. Mm. Nice. Well, I was going to go with computer duster, but I didn't end up. Mm. Very good. Yes. Yeah, and I had nothing. <laughs> I had Budweiser. <laughs> the fact that extra strength mouthwash also works here is pretty funny. Budweiser spelled wrong is why I chose it. <laughs> and that was definitely on purpose. Oh, tight. Nailed it. I said uh, my my answer was uh, shitty diarrhea pants fart fuck. Oh. So it's oh. Up in a good spot for Pemis hard. Yeah. Or I felt, like, I felt like it. I felt like it was too obvious. <laughs> <laughs> You're missing it's letters. Back. It's back, baby. <laughs> two times in a row. It's long. back. <laughs> Next game, we we and gotta do. This is do... where it's too obvious. <laughs> <laughs> He's a bottom. Oh, did you not, not we just straight, mention the other one? Just straight penis hard every time. I think there's an achievement for when more than one person types the same thing. I think it just doesn't let somebody type it exactly the same, so they have to change it. But I've been spelling it wrong anyway, so... Hmm. Miss misspelling it. Oh, the last laugh. I forgot about the last laugh. Yeah, I always do. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> making Thank you. 
Sure. Yo, me love candy. Gets one for me, fair. <laughs> Physical structure, <laughs> blood flow. <laughs> Mountain Dew gets <laughs> that's the winner in my heart. <laughs> Go goes in car makes faster. Makes faster. It's true. <clears throat> well, uh, I meant to put more into me love candy, but I guess I didn't. It's okay. So I only chose know. that because there's an achievement if you win with it. <laughs> oh, this. I'm officially achievement it's the, hunting. It's the uh, auto equip. Something like that. That's funny. <laughs> it's a three spot. Thank you. No <laughs> votes for Roman Empire, Dan. Well, Nobody's thinking about sucks. the Roman Empire. I literally never... my glorious fall. I literally uh, never think of the Roman Empire. Me either, buddy. The Greeks just, and the Romans, I just don't really relate to the aesthetic. I only think about the Etruscans. Hey. I, I do think it's funny that their armor had muscles on it. I like that. I yeah. think it's fun. It's funny. <laughs> so did Batman. They had it's some fun Fields stuff. People. But like Batman did too, and I like his better. True. I mean, yeah, yeah it's a, oh, yeah. The, modern, watched, the modern uh, version. I watched Keaton Batman all the way through for the first time. Nice. Mm. What'd you think? Uh, a lot of fun. It's great. Good movie. Yeah. Very good movie. Second one's like kind of miserable. Um, but I used to like it. I watched the second one not that long ago and was honestly blown away by how much I enjoyed it. Uh, yeah. I watched I watched them like pretty much back to back. I think I watched like one one night and then the other the next night and was like. <laughs> like both times I was like, I can't believe how good this still is. <laughs> um, and the second one, especially I was, I was expecting it to be like more corny than it was. Right. And it's just dark as fuck and cool the whole time. Yeah. Um, yeah it's, pretty cool. it's superior. It's also like <clears throat> extremely good pacing the whole time. Like there's no downtime the whole movie. Mm. Every, every single thing, thing that like every single shot in the movie something is happening yeah um it it never it never stops it never slows down um and it does a really good job of doing that without being like exhausting right yeah <clears throat> i have to check it out again yeah. he's he's a fine batman i mean he's just the best bruce or... at least he's the most uh charming bruce He's the only yeah, person like, like a person that like you like. All. Yeah. The <laughs> he sleeps upside down. <laughs> yeah, it's he's really a, fucking funny. He's a big weirdo. <laughs> it rules. Yeah, I actually remember uh, being like four years old and like having like the first sexual feelings of my entire life because of Michelle Pfeiffer in that movie. Pretty reasonable. <laughs> Pretty reasonable. Well, no, it's like bizarre and weird, and she's like a weird, scary zombie cat person. So I don't know. What oh, that that's returning. <laughs> she's yeah. also total babe. Also, Michelle Pfeiffer. Just say it. Yeah, sure, sure. And that's Danny not DeVito who I like. With, though I like the scary Danny zombie. Danny with flippers. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I it was actually the Danny stinking DeVito. city like a heart from hell. It was actually <laughs> Danny DeVito that got me. <laughs> Denny's yeah, <laughs> I, there was a lot of. I mean, there was a lot of ways that sentence could have gone. Remember when? Uh, uh, remember when <laughs> Danny DeVito bit off uh, Christopher Walken's nose? Yeah, that was a, It wasn't Christopher Walken. It was a different guy. Oh really? Mm-hmm. The pen. The pen. Oh, but the pen is mightier than the sword. Is in there too, right? The That's penis. the first one. That's Joker. Yeah. Oh. Joker stabs a guy and says the pen is mightier than the sword. He stabs him. He throws, him with a, he throws stabs a, him with a quill at his in his his neck and it kills him. Either yeah, that's poison or he like hits an artery and just like. Does he throw it at him? 
Yeah. I thought he just like came up behind him and like ganked him. Well, no, uh, you like realize... you, it's projectile. He chucks it. I guess mm. the pen, the pen in the Nolan one is a callback. I didn't realize that. Where he puts oh, the maybe. pen on the, on the table and then he slams the guy's head down onto it. I Remember did that? not think yeah. about that. I'm gonna oh, make yeah. this pen disappear. I love your I love your Heath Ledger Joker. That's the worst impression I've ever. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Why so serious? Why I'm so serious? serious. <laughs> oh, man, man. If you really think about it, I'm really kind of the good guy. <laughs> Did I ever tell you how I got these scars? Yeah. Oh. Did I ever it. tell you how I got this Fight Club Deluxe Edition DVD? <laughs> Actually, I guess that's who the voice is. It comes, <laughs> yeah. it comes with a copy of Taxi Driver in the back. <laughs> I had to go to school. So when I went to film school, every I had to go to school too, man. It sucked. <laughs> yeah, every film school, uh, it was just full of these bros who were like obsessed with the Christopher Nolan Batman, which is it like sucks. It's so bad. Like, you went to school. When I went to film school before that. You were... It was all Pulp Fiction. It was all Kill yeah. Bill. It's like you're so inspired by this that you like have never like gone past the like movie that everyone in the entire fucking world watched. Right. It's just, it's bizarre, like that you chose to like spend hundred like tens of thousands of dollars to go to school for this, and you're like oh, yeah. only that interested in it. And they they all have jobs now, which is why movies suck now. By the way, yep, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I I like those movies; they're fine. But it's like I... there's there's sunk movies. Epic takedown of Chris the, Nolan. The... This was good. Hmm. Four Things was good. That's not a Christopher Nolan movie. But oh. yeah, as far as like good movies at all. Yeah, um, Christopher Nolan's great. I, I, we're fine. Um, <laughs> I, yeah, I, like, oh, I, I feel like his, his movies, ha- he has a couple bangers, and then most of his movies have like pretty good parts. Yeah, um, he, he's, he's got an aesthetic, which I that's better than... I mean, he's the dumb ways. guy, smart director. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Yeah. They, and, they, and there's they, a they oh. kind of all are. All the noteworthy ones kind of are. Yeah. yeah. I feel like Quentin Tarantino could very easily be called the Still dumb guy, smart thinking. guy. Yeah. yeah. There's um, a funny thing happening now where uh, uh, you know, nobody can make a movie like an original property anymore. Yeah. So all the like the last directors, 10 years of movies. Well then like all the prestige directors now and because they can't make like Marvel movies, they're just making movies of like historical figures that you recognize the name sure. of. It's like the sure. brand recognition for like Right. Prestige well, director. I mean they're making they made like the Cheetos movie, they made the Blackberry movie, they're making like some <laughs> yeah. other like oh, Steve Jobs yeah, yeah. adjacent movie. Like Nike or whatever. Um, yeah. yeah, right. Yeah, just the the shoe movie. But I was um, thinking of like Oppenheimer and like the Napoleon sure. Ridley Scott movie that's coming out. Right. That yeah. that done been that done came and went. Oh well, Mr. Bean. <laughs> I can't I think believe was, how much I think Ridley the Napoleon Scott movie was the last movie. What's that? I just can't believe how much Ridley Scott sucks now. He was like my favorite. Yeah, that movie, the movie sucked. It was it reminded me of like uh, Barry Lyndon, but but was bad. Barry yeah. Lyndon. Lyndon, Lyndon, yeah, it's yeah. yeah. I wouldn't have known. Uh, I like Barry Lyndon. It wasn't. It wasn't yeah, surprising to me that I didn't like Barry Lyndon the movie because I didn't really like the book. Like, I got it. It was just, like, you know how, like, novels from that era do the thing where the chapter heading just tells you, all like, the summary of what happens in the chapter? Yeah. Yeah. Barry Lyndon is like that, but the whole chapter. (laughs) (laughs) If that makes any sense. I don't know. Yeah. Um, And then the movie was pretty boring. He only shoots, he only gets in a fight at the very beginning and the very end. Which is like, fine. but in the in the book he gets in like five fights in a row or something. Like <laughs> if I remember correctly, he's like, and then this other guy wanted to duel me, so I just like got up the next day and did a duel, and I was like, fuck, I'm still alive. Now I gotta duel this other idiot. I want to review <laughs> movies based on how many fights are in them. Like I'm just saying the Mr. book is cooler because it's Mr. more Punch. about he's got more know, punches. Yeah, yeah, he punches, punches more. 
Um, Monkey Man. Well, but but One yeah, Punch Man, Man, pretty cool. <laughs> one Punch Man. Apparently, apparently, One Punch Man is pretty cool, and he it's only great. does one punch. The first one punch at a time. Yeah, I need to watch the second. <laughs> he does one punch at a time. He's, sure, he's like, that's, that's fair. That's fair. He generally, only needs one punch. It's like generally. he's basically. Time, it's basically Fist of the North Star. Like he's basically. Yeah. Uh, what's what's the fist of the fist of the North Star Ichiro. guy punches Ichiro. most people a whole bunch of times. No, I know, and, but like if you yeah, but he's like and also gets, and but he he gets the living shit punched out of him a bunch of times. Yeah, he doesn't do so well. I don't yeah. know, Punch Man. I guess he's pretty. I never finished it. I've seen like two but, episodes of it yeah. and a couple of like pretty funny memes or like who's uh, gonna win? One Punch Man you know, or Rocky Balboa? Rocky Balboa, obviously. Yeah, obviously Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> obviously. Philly Rocky baby. Balboa. Philly Rocky baby. Who would win, Rocky <laughs> Balboa? <laughs> oh man, wait! Rocky <laughs> versus Alien. Smoke weed every day. Alien Rocky, versus Predator Rocky versus Rocky and Rambo versus Alien and Predator. Tag bum, team. Bum. It's just called tag team at the bottom. Ridley Scott. Starting rag. Oh man, Buffy. get Ridley on the phone. Get Ridley on the phone. He put Prometheus no. in it. I actually like Prometheus okay. No, dig dig up Tony Scott. Let him do it. I wish Prometheus had been a Metroid movie instead. It's um, just Yeah, I mean it is. I mean Metroid is an alien game. So Sure, but there's like I don't know. The, I I would have rathered it been just its own thing. Like even if the creature wound up looking like the fucking alien, like wh- whatever, who cares? The sure. the thing the the thing that made it suck was being like this is the prequel to Alien. Like no one cares. Just make a good movie. I thought that was cool, but yeah, I don't, I, uh, Alien Alien and Blade Runner are like two of my favorite movies ever, and sure. uh, so I was happy to get a little more of that. It was a good vibe. Yeah. It had the vibrate. I liked the. Yeah, it did I, have I, the vibrate. The writing soup. Uh, it looked fine. Um, <laughs> I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say the vibe was right. I, I did not. I did not ride the vibe you for the Prometheus vibe. or Covenant. Covenant, I liked a little more because it was like. I did too. I went into it knowing it was going to be bad for one thing. Uh, yeah. whereas Prometheus, I was like, you know, naively hopeful. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Which one has Danny McBride? But I also, that's Covenant. Covenant. Um, Danny real. McBride doing no jokes, which I also thought was like very funny. <laughs> like yeah, that's, that's a very funny <laughs> thing to do in your movie. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, um, I also like really enjoyed like Alien Three and Alien Resurrection. Like the the yeah. the main the main thing wrong with Alien Resurrection was that it wasn't a French language uh, Saturday morning cartoon. Yeah, <laughs> I, I mean they should have let that dude just do more. Yeah, like, for sure. Alien Resurrection been awesome. and the Sun Beneath the Sea. <laughs> Alien Resurrection and the Seven Cities of Gold. <laughs> Alien Resurrection and the Amelie. Right. Well, that, it was the oh, that guy. That guy made it. It's uh, Genet. Yeah. yeah. Jean Pierre Genet. Yeah, he made Delicatessen, Amelie. Delicatessen, City of Lost Children. City of Lost Children. Yeah, that's a good one. That stop animated one. Who's going to be the title of? But uh, Alien Covenant <laughs> I liked a lot because it was Gladiator neat. Two, who comes back from, back from the dead. Yeah, that was that was like one of the things that I enjoyed about it is that mm. it was mean. It was like, like one of those comics. It was um, like one of the alien comics from the nineties. It's just like a sure. mean, bitter, like yeah, stupid alien movie. Um, has anyone seen anything about the TV show that's coming out? I saw the teaser. Um, Romulus, I think it's called, or is that the new movie? <laughs> that's the the show. Okay. I can't tell if it's a show or a movie. Actually, I don't remember. I think I think Romulus is the show, and then I think there is at least rumors of a movie. Let's see, new alien movie? Question mark. And it shows me <laughs> Alien, nineteen seventy nine. So Xenomorph is a product of 
the Wayland Corporation, right? You all know this. And is by way of David, is buying a Tesla like the same thing? Huh. I mean, uh, if you bought a Xenomorph, yeah. I really like the cyber trucks. Yeah, Maybe the cyber trucks are just trying to kill people. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty yeah, good. Basically. Well, they're trying to, yeah, kill people and just go nowhere. Yeah, they're just uh, they're like weird N sixty four tombs that you can buy. <laughs> yeah, does look like it's rendered out of an N sixty four game. Yeah, yeah, I do appreciate how ugly they are, and I do appreciate that they try to kill their owners. Uh, I yeah. love. Maximum Overdrive is probably one of my favorite movies. Well, that's a really good yeah. one, too. Yeah. People kill so hard on themselves. Um, lives, right? So Alien Romulus is the movie, and the TV show apparently is just called Alien. Oh. Oh, it's called Alien. That's stupid. Alien. Yeah. Alien. The Alien. I can't believe they didn't do that yet. Alien. The Alien, you know? They've been oh, doing this. Thalian. Yeah, the alien. It's Rodney Xenomorph. It's, it's called Daily, and it's about pronouns. Daily. <laughs> <laughs> can't make more alien because of woke. It's about the, the space balls, the space balls dancing Xenomorph. Wait, the alien has to already exist, uh-huh. right? The alien. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, my it's baby. Hello, my elf. honey. Hello, my ragtime girl. Yeah. Jack, please. <laughs> Just person on the internet. Was that it's the just, soup? <laughs> it's just the uh it'll just Excellent. be like different droids or whatever they call them, the cyborgs, androids just like complaining about woke culture. The alien is the is the metaphor for that. that would have been a that would have been a fun <laughs> uh fifth alien movie. Like you know, how, like Alien Resurrection ends on uh, them landing back on Earth, and they're like, "What a shithole!" <laughs> you just do, you just jump like another five hundred years in the future, and the whole population is androids because the humans just couldn't get along, so they killed right. them. And then the fucking like the space station finally crashes into the planet, and they're like, "What is this?" <laughs> it's like Ripley is like brought back again. As an android this time. Right. They like find her like cloned conscience yeah. uh, consciousness stored in a in in a like a chip on the ship or something. Right. And yeah, she's like they uh, they fifth element her. Yeah. And she's like gay again. Like <laughs> she was in the fourth one. <laughs> Which one wouldn't own a rider. Sure. I mean she was just a clone in the in the fourth one. She had like she had like residual memories, I guess. I don't know. Right. I'm, know. Just, I'm just saying it's when you I feel get like it, you get gay. That's what happens. I, f- <laughs> I mean, I feel like it's I feel like it's reductive to assume that a clone of a straight person couldn't turn out gay. That'd be great. I mean, it's true. Huh. It's why? Like, really, why not? Really we don't. We don't know how the, that stuff works. It's great. Huh. If you can make t-shirts that just said Alien 4, the gay one. Wait, what? Alien 4, the gay one. Alien 4, the gay one. We probably could do that. I think you could do that. I would do that. Could be a band. Call the next next tape that. (laughs) Alien 4, the gay one. That's a good name. I'm going to steal that. Please do. Good name for me, too. Three S's. (laughs) <laughs> right, man, kiss it to me. <laughs> All right. Oh shit! Shaggy yeah. T. Dope fell. It's... Oh no. What was that? What? Oh, Shaggy T. Dope fell. Oh no, not Shaggy T. Actually, dope. I think this is this is Violent J. Actually. Yeah, I was gonna say. I thought you said I, mean... I shattered my palm. Yeah, right. Sorry. Show I some respect. Unbelievable. Put some respect on them. Put some respect on the names of those men who made careers out of wearing clown makeup and saying foul things only to be like, this was a pyramid scheme for Jesus. Oh, they're not doing that, are they? That was like their whole thing. I, I, they might have like, they might have been like, wait a second, Ma- mainstream Christianity is pretty beat. Um, they're, they're, they're the opposite like, Chumbawamba. No, it was like their, sev- their seventh Joker card dropped or whatever, and they were like, it's all for Jesus. 
Oh wow! Yeah, that that was yeah. like a huge thing. Like yeah. that fucking magnets. How do they work? Like, right. oh. like oh my my child looks like me. Isn't that weird? Like, <laughs> like these are the mysteries of the of the universe that can only be understood through uh, the lens of Christianity. Right uh, to them. Well, uh, the one kid, the one yeah, um, like magnets. The one is uh, um, the one has a their kid is a furry. My fish is cool. I don't know if what you saw that? it. And then, dude, I'm gonna All say right. goodnight. <laughs> all right. Well, that's been a show. Then, oh, good night, yeah. everyone. Follow us on all the shit. Uh, shout out to and Mothership. Good game. Turned off right now. I can't hear anything. So I'm gonna Amazing. Say that <laughs> Anthem is playing. I'm gonna stand. There it is. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Snake clusters? Every day. What? <laughs> <laughs> you can't. You can't. Bye. Good night, everybody. Oh.